John Susan here. You know, one of my favorite fruits is talking about prunes and how prunes can actually maybe give you a good chance of increasing bone density, building bone strength. This is now 2015. I'm in Montreal with all the researchers from around the world who are working on bone health and nutrition. And I have Dr. Husman with me here today. Is that pronounced right? Husman. Husman. <laughs> uh, here today, who's one of the researchers on prunes. And actually, what she's looking at is just how many prunes do we need to have an impact on bone. A few years ago, you remember, I talked about the work of Ajarmani, Dr. Ajarmani. What did he find? Like 12 prunes a day, 10 prunes a day. Really seemed to help bone density, help to build bone strength. And now, some researchers are looking at actually a lower dose of prunes, which probably you'll be happy to hear about. Well, why don't you tell us about your sure. research and what you're seeing? So Dr. Ashwani started this work and um, he started with 10 to 12 prunes per day. Mm -hmm. And we have done this study for almost a year with him and um, you know, 10 to 12 really showed the fact it increased your bone density, it's preventing your bone loss in postmenopausal women that you know, they're at risk. So 10 to 12, it really seemed to help increase bone density, density, reduce bone loss, okay. Definitely, yeah. so it's really helping. Uh, but now we're going to lower doses because a lot of people complain that 10 to 12 could be really, um, you know, too much to take every day. Uh -huh. So we designed this study to go to lower doses and see if half of that, 5 to 6, could be as effective as 10 to 12 because it seems like more feasible to have yeah. that much per day. In fact, a lot of a lot of our listeners tried, the, were doing those prunes and many of you might identify with, well, it was great, I was doing those 12 prunes, but then I got kind of tired of that. So what you're working on is can you can a smaller dose, can five or six prunes a day have that same sort of beneficial impact on bone? So what do you find it? So what we're finding is uh, yes, in six months of study that we did in um, women 65 years to 80 mm -hmm. uh, who had osteopenia or bone loss, we have shown that five to six prunes can be as effective as 10 to 12 decreasing their bone resorption, so that's, you know, a success, and we're hoping that, you know, we can show similar things in longer-term studies, because we really need longer-term studies to be sure about the bone density. And so, in just a, a short six-month study, <laughs> six months, they've been able to find that you decrease bone breakdown, mm -hmm. and there's some signs that it may be that that five or six, six prunes can actually enhance bone density. Yes, yeah, so we have seen the improvement in the total bone density. But, you know, probably if this study was for a longer term and, you know, for one year we could have seen the significant changes in the lumbar. I see, so the finger. total mineral content of the bone has increased and now you're looking to see if in a year will the spine get stronger, the hip gets stronger, so at any specific size we can also yeah. see some significant changes. You know, we, we really encourage always a diet high in fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds, but certainly taking the, the step to get set six, seven prunes is probably a wise idea. Why that's only to a meal. Yes, easy. Thank you very much, oh, thank you. and we nice. congratulate you on your search, and you, you keep us informed so we sure. can tell everyone. Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.